Here at Grit, we're making the mountain bike of wheelchairs. Yeah! Our Freedom Chair is specially designed to help users travel on really rough terrain, whether that's a hiking trail, or through thick grass, or on the beach. There are so many big problems that the world's facing, and many of them can't be solved by engineering, but many of them can. There are millions of people that could benefit from a product like ours. It's nice to be able to just change direction and go where you want. It was actually uh, pretty fortuitous for me growing up having both a working mom and a working dad, uh, and seeing them running their own business. I guess it always kind of seemed like I could do this, I could run my own company. I'd always been good at math and science. My dad was the one who wanted me to look at MIT. We came and were at MIT, and I remember that I didn't want to get out of the car. I think I just had that terrible stereotype that it would be full of nerds and that I wouldn't fit in. I don't know what I was thinking. Now I have no problem letting that nerd flag fly freely. In that same semester, I was also taking uh, organic chemistry, and I found myself totally disinterested and really racing to be on time to the wheelchair class every time, every day. My group was partnered with a small wheelchair workshop in Tanzania, in East Africa and we would Skype and email with them to try to provide whatever sort of help we could with our, our basic engineering skills. People needed to go really long distances to get to work or to school, oftentimes in rural areas. When they got to work or school or the office, they needed to be able to go indoors and still be maneuverable. And they needed something that that they could actually repair and maintain in the long term. So all of the moving parts are standard bicycle parts. The need to be able to repair it locally was really clear to us. The key innovation behind the chair is the way you push it. So a regular wheelchair is propelled by grabbing onto the wheels and pushing those forward. The Freedom Chair uses a lever system. Check. Actuating correctly. Check. The levers give you a lot more leverage, so it's easier to push. When we started GRIT, all of us mechanical engineers, there were a lot of things we had to learn. And there are a lot of skills we had to pick up on the fly, from accounting to finance to patent law to sales and marketing. We started working with a manufacturer in India and distributing the product through agencies and NGOs around the world. To date, about 2,000 chairs in almost 20 countries. While that was happening, we started hearing from wheelchair riders here in the United States who said, we want something that's rugged and easy to repair too. a small team with limited resources being pulled in so many different directions, yeah. it's really hard. We're talking to folks that we might be able to, to partner yeah, with overseas to help grow that, that work and also what we really want to put the time and effort into growing what we're doing here in the U.S. And then we have that trail ride with the VA. We'll see how, how this trail, what this trail is like and maybe it's something we add into our accessible trail series. Our riders, they're all over. They're leaving their own footprints in the sand uh, when the tire tracks are, are left behind. That's what makes us want to keep doing this, is, is hearing those stories and seeing that impact firsthand. Yeah.